Jamaica, a little hut somewhere in the lonely countryside of the beautiful Caribbean island. The sun is about to set. The two sisters, Seesum and Susage, are lying together in their bed, but instead of going to sleep as their mother told them to do, they have other plans. As soon as the mother leaves the room, Seesum and Susage are sneaking out of the window. Along with them, they are taking the petroleum lamp which was next to their bed. Seesum and Susage are walking through the bush to a remote place and start exploring a cave, far away from everything, under the light of the full moon and the bright stars. As they are inside of the cave, the earth starts shaking and all of a sudden the entrance is blocked. They can't get out. What do we do now? Was that an earthquake? I don't know, but I know that we will surely die in here. Why do you think so? Soon we will run out of hair and by the way, we have nothing to eat and drink. But maybe they will come and look for us. Yes. Maybe, maybe they'll start looking for us. But do you really believe that they'll be able to find us in here? Trapped in the cave, the petroleum lamp as their only light, they start telling each other stories. See some, do you think there is a god? Yes, of course. I met her. She was dressed all in white. But he's not an all white man as we all see on TV. She was black, black just like you and me. And she was young. See some. No, 19 years. Seesum is a very curious teenager, always eager to find out what life is about. One sunny day, walking on the beach, she sees a fisherman just coming back from sea. Hey there, fisherman. Tell me, what are you doing all day? Well, I get up, my wife prepares some breakfast for us. I play some guitar with my friends on the beach and at night I go fishing. Some of the fish I sell and some we use for ourselves, my wife, my brothers and my sisters. Do you have any brothers and sisters? Yes, but my sister died a long time ago. Sorry to hear that. What was her name? Susage. That is a very nice name. It sounds familiar too. Mr. Fisherman, what do you think life is about? Money, of course. Soon, I will buy a bigger boat and work really hard so I can catch more fish and make more money too to buy a second boat mm. and work even harder and catch more fish oh. and make even more money so I can buy a lot of boats and become rich. <laughs> so, how long you think that going to take you to become rich? Think about it. Hmm, maybe 20 or 30 years. So after all this effort and hard work, after all that, what will you do then? Well, I'll get up, my wife will prepare some breakfast for us, I'll play some guitar with my friends on the beach, and at night, I might even go fishing with my small boat. <laughs> but isn't that what you do already? <laughs> Not satisfied at all, Seesum walks away. She runs into three persons who are arguing. Good day, everybody. What are you guys arguing about? It is about religion. See, I am Jewish. This ignorant fellow, a Christian, and this one, even worse, a Muslim. I see. But what is the argument really about? Well, they don't believe me that our religion is the right one. Same here. They don't believe me that ours is the right one. Oh, please. We were the first and that four. Ours is the holy true religion. But good that you came along. What is your name, young fellow? My name is Seesum. That is a very nice name. It sounds familiar too. Why don't you listen to all of us and tell us who you think is right? Mm-hmm. I will gladly listen to all what you have to say and to make up my mind. So one by one, they are telling Seesum about their religions and answer every question Seesum asked. And after hearing all of them... All of you have a good point. And I love the wonderful stories. But let me ask you some question, my Jewish friend. Since your religion is the oldest, do you have any sort of proof that what you're saying is actually true? See some, my friend. I don't have any proof. You have to just believe in it. My Christian friend, since your religion is so popular, do you have any proof? See some, my friend. I don't have any proof. You just have to believe in it. My Muslim friend, since your religion is the newest, you have 
any proof at all of what you're preaching is actually true? See some, my friend? I don't have any proof. You have to just believe in it. All right, all right. Since none of you have any sort of proof whatsoever, I'll just tell you guys what I think makes the most sense to me. And just before Cesar was about to make up his mind, a very old man in strange clothing comes along and asks them, What is this all about? Why are you arguing, people? It is about religion, and I should decide which one I think is the right one. What are the religions you have to choose from? May I ask? Well, we have here my Jewish friend, my Christian friend, and my Muslim friend. And all of them insist that their religion is the right one. So, I was listening to all of them and now I am about to say which one I think make the most sense. But wait, did you hear about my religion, Buddhism? No, I didn't. Is that even a religion? I think before you can make up your mind, you should hear about my own. All right. Tell me about yours and I will decide afterwards. So, the Buddhist tells you some about Buddhism. My Buddhist friend, since your religion is so popular, do you have any sort of proof of what you're saying? See some, my friend. I don't have any proof. You have to just believe in it. My friends, you are making it very hard for me to decide. But I think... There comes along a young black woman dressed all in white. It was Seesom herself. Who are you? What is your name? You know who I am. Back in the cave, Seesom and Susage lying down, not moving at all. The light of the lamp goes off.